Hello all my Virgo friends. Welcome to your September 16th through 30th reading. Thank you all for, for tuning in and welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. This is a collective reading for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Don't forget there are other videos that I put out, the weekly, the daily. Uh, I have a daily affirmation using the Law of Attraction and I have a daily membership where there's a meditation. Uh, there's a join button below if you'd like to be part of that and if you'd like a private reading this is a general reading so it is all about the collective if you'd like a private reading with your energy please visit royalmystic.com and I'll be more than happy to assist you after you book your appointment with that being said we'll move forward thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all my virgo friends sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended well that flipped back over but i'm taking it Thank you so much for your guidance as well. We welcome your energy here, Divine, and thank you so much for your presence. You are always welcome. So, Virgo, you're going to start off knocking my signs around here <laughs> with the beautiful Three of Cups. Very, very happy energy. Um, this is... The Three of Cups is talking about other people pouring into you. So this is receiving okay and if you can remember to always welcome someone offering because when you say no you're also saying no to the universe trying to bring things to you so you have to be open to receive so when someone's trying to give you something it's not a, you got to let your ego get out of the way and let the universe give it to you because when you start that no I don't need it the universe goes, okay, well, you don't need that. Then you don't need what else I was going to give you. So this is the Ace of Pentacles. You definitely don't want to turn that away. This is also your Virgo energy. The, the uh, Virgo sign is the Pentacles in the deck. So this is all about having a strong foundation, financial restoration, and, re and being restored fully. It's about the universe giving you this gift. So definitely we're talking about receiving here. So that seems to be really strong. We're moving in a new direction. There's some, it doesn't have to be a new job. It can be because of the rods, but there are all kinds of ways you can move forward in life, leaving things behind that no longer serve you or something that was stagnant. You may actually decide to get more active, whatever it is, travel, it can, act, it can be a new job. This is definitely talking about letting go of old negative things. So, when we cut loose of negative energy, this Ten of Swords is all about closing a door. This is your current energy. Now we are into relationship, love life, and spiritual life, which is very strong here. Now we have career and finance on this side. I try to give a broad spectrum of the reading. Don't forget we have another deck for those of you who are new. There's going to be clarifiers. Now, we have the Queen of Swords here. So for those of you who are in the job interview uh, realm and are doing that, this is talking about being very articulate and able to really show your stuff. Somebody is going to find you very uh, attractive for the job and you will ace the interview. Now, we can always go through an interview and be the best candidate, but don't, don't forget the other people have their own motives. So just keep on, if you're, if you're one of those people who's really out there beating the pavement trying to find your best job, even though you're attached to the job, sometimes the universe will move you to another place because the energy in that place is not for you uh, or the, the growth that you need won't be found there. So don't get too attached, just be open to whatever the universe brings toward you. Now if it's not about a job, it's about clarity and being in a place of spiritual growth and also spiritual focus because you see her third eye is very illuminated here and she's actually pulling the light this little um, orb is on her sword so it's it's saying there's some spiritual movement happening as well now back to what we have here three of cups definitely energy being given okay and receiving it this is your cup overfloweth okay we receive some of that I don't know about y'all, but I do. <laughs> I'll receive it for you. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. 
the universe is giving you this gift. This is an ace, and all aces are gifts from the universe. A provision of foundation of financial stability. Brand new energy coming in with being either restored, so that's something new coming in to take the place of something that you've lost, and being made up for, so being made whole financially. I, uh, that's an amazing, wonderful energy. So, Three of Wands, moving forward, looking at the horizon and saying, you know, I'd like to see what else is out there, whether it's the job or whether it's a new ad adventure, okay? We're ready to ask the universe to give. And that's why you have to be in the receive mode because if you're asking to do something and you're not taking the small things, then you're turning the energy away. Cutting loose of fear, doubt, uh, toxic energy. This is a closure. The 10 is always a completion. So this cycle is about to close. And when it does, if it's a person leaving your life, if it's a job leaving your life, whatever the situation is that turns you away from this energy, you must accept it and move forward. Trying to hang on to it will not do you any good and you will never get out of the rut. If you still, because we get into a habit of negative energy, when we, especially around people. We get used to them. And this, You've ever heard somebody say, oh, they're just like that. You have to get to know them. Well, but that means you've, you've allowed it. So that's the way you have to understand is, you know, I'm not, I'm not down for that no more. <laughs> so here in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life, this is the Nine of Swords. Now the Nine of Swords is self-doubt and self-sabotage thoughts. These are all based in your own uh, mind and your own fear. So you do not have to accept that. You can tell the universe, hey, I refuse to live in fear anymore. I, I, am, I am in a place where I have just done about everything I can and I know that I'm doing the right thing. My energy is right. I'm trying my best and I will not be in fear. And you can let it go. It's telling you it's time to do that. So don't keep hanging on to that. And if it's a relationship that's causing this drama because this is actual anxiety, then you need to rethink it, okay? or at least don't expose yourself to it as much. I know we all have relatives that uh, <laughs> so you, you, can, you can limit your exposure to it, okay, and don't receive it. Now, here's a fabulous card. This is the moon, and this is all about the energy of Pisces. This is a very strong card for manifesting, and we just had a Pisces moon, so I think that that is pretty amazing and uh, it's kicking right in. So this is talking about getting yourself centered in your chakras, balancing your chakra energy. And if, for those of you who don't know what a chakra is, there are energy centers in your body that go down it like a, like a, a stoplight, like they call it a Christmas tree in racing. But it's, um, you can look, just Google chakras and, and you'll see all about that. I also have some chakra meditation and cleansing on my playlist in my on my home page on YouTube so you can check it out there um, it is all about uh, vibration and clearing and cleansing energy uh, we do those every week we cleanse those and clear them on my weekly readings at the end there's a meditation to clear chakras and dailies so if you need that kind of assistance I'm here to help this is the uh, divine light energy here so it's showing the balance between spirit and your your physical energy and when you get that balance, the reason I go into that long story is you've got the, this clockwork here. As soon as you get the balance, the clockwork starts and whatever this is starts to expand, okay, and be revealed, it, it expose itself. So this is something in manifestation form now, whether it's a relationship, a job, uh, health, um, whatever it is, spiritual, spiritual abundance, because we all have breakthrough moments in all those things. Now you have the Four of Pentacles here, which is very strong, stable foundation. Because this is your suit, it can mean your grounded energy, because you are very grounded. That is what your sign is, an earth sign. And the Four also means very grounded and solid, stable. This also means money in the bank. So... It can mean your family is being being more stable and and cohesive. Now we have the five of wands, which, which looks like where some of your stress is coming from because this is a kind of a stressful situation. This is uh, having some conflict or 
uh, competition or um, people who just are negative at, at the workplace. It's kind of like, a, you know, workplace is kind of like a family and this is a family that's not getting along so well. Now they're not beating each other down, they're just kind of jabbing at each other, okay? So it's those tiny little jabs that tear you down over time and it is very negative energy. So some of you may be seeking employment elsewhere. The emperor is stands for a couple of things. It can stand for your a leadership role at your work, at the CEO, or it can be the divine energy of the universe, the masculine. This is a beautiful energy of guidance and protection and uh, being, being, having the universe have your back. So it's telling you don't give up just because the people around you are all nitpicking. You have a bigger purpose and you can focus on that because here comes a divine gift. This is an offer coming down from the heavens. So this may not initially look like something you're interested in, but it actually is something that's divinely being given. It's coming right from below this emperor. So it is a, heaven, a helping hand, so to speak, okay? This is why you've got to be open to receive. That's why that Three of Cups is your first card. So let's see what else we have, Virgo. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine spirits, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine, for your presence here. We appreciate your guidance and blessings, and we receive these messages with the love and light which they are intended. We have, thank you for your energy, and your presence is always welcome and appreciated move my microphone up. I felt like it might have been clacking against my necklace. I'm sorry if that was the case. And then we have the King of Rods. Ten of Swords twice. Definitely an ending to the, the lack. So we've got to close that door so that we can receive. Five of Swords. The, look at that. Oh, Virgo, that's amazing. You have these cards side by side. The, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, let me just keep moving. There's the Three of Cups again. There's an offer coming in. It can be love. It can be a heartfelt offer regarding work. Or, yep, work. We've got the Ace of Rods, a new beginning. So some of you are definitely doing something new with work. Now we have the Two of Cups. That's great. That's a great, wonderful spiritual card. And look, the Emperor on the Emperor. I've got chills. Guys, y'all are having an amazing reading. So you've got the Seven of Rods here, which is telling you to hold your ground. And what is our underlier? The Eight of Pentacles. Absolutely fabulous. This is a, this is a really strong energy of paying attention to the details and learning in a way that you become more valuable, okay? So if you're learning something new, and even if you already know something, you can always learn something more to become an expert at it, okay? When you, when you can find something that you can be elite at, you're always more valuable. And education is always a wonderful thing. This means the apprentice, so it means learning, being being taught something or, or learning as you go. I've had on-the-job training for most everything I've ever done in life. So, Three of Cups with the King of Rods. So this is definitely work energy coming in. The King of Rods can stand for being an entrepreneur or a boss, okay? Very, very leadership-oriented card. Ace of Pentacles means money coming in. As soon as you get the negativity out, that's when everything's going to start to roll. Now, I don't think you have to do much other than let it go when it goes. So there might be a change happening for someone, they're telling me, uh, that you think might be a bad thing, but it turns out to actually bring you more success than you ever thought. And this is changing something. This is moving in a new direction. Now, this Five of Swords is somebody who's trying to slow you down. Okay, there's only two meanings this can have. Somebody who sees that sword, he's kind of stabbing it in the ground like he's saying, no, you can't do it unless I say so. Or it's you jumping the gun. So don't, don't claim a victory until it's time. Don't, in other words, don't quit your job until you know everything's okay or don't 
change until you see it's obviously when this Ten of Swords is there and it's no, no going back, uh, but don't jump the gun on it. The timing is everything in life and you all know that. Um, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now for some of you this can mean October. It's a timing thing when the tens show up like that. So just if you're looking for a timing or if somebody's got something going in October, that's when you know it's going to be time to cut bait and move forward or whatever you're planning to kick it off because the universe will be receptive and be trying to assist you. So you see how that's got the extra little Easter lilies on there? That means being, being restored with interest. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> now, even though you're having the fear, it's okay. Feel the fear and keep moving. Three of Cups, still there. Universe or whoever, you may have friends who are, who are replenishing you, okay? Or your family. The Moon card, something coming out of the blue. Get yourself centered and focused. It is working right now. It is trying to manifest. And we just had a Cancer Moon. And that's exactly what this card is. It's the sign of cancer, and it is a full moon. It is the moon card. So, Knight of Cups, an offer coming in. Then you have the Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Rods. So, this means it takes root and flourishes. So, whatever this is doing is going to be super prosperous. This is a very good energy. Now, let's talk about your career and finance over here. I've never, I, I don't remember ever having this many doubles in one reading, like where they're right on top of each other like this. There's three sets that are, these are doubled in, in opposition, opposition, and these, the, the emperor is doubled on top of itself. So, holy moly, and you've got other double cards, they're just not on top of each other. This is a great reading. Five of Wands, uh, so whatever this, disjointedness is there is harmony coming because this two of cups means seeing eye to eye so whatever the new thing is coming in it's going to make everything come into focus for you and spiritually it means a join okay so it means you are this is your calling whatever this is it's destiny for you because that is the two of cups means like soulmate and in work it means a soul uh, a soul provision of something that you're doing that is on your path. Divine alignment for sure. And the emperor with the emperor. So, I don't know how else to tell you this is divine. <laughs> this is super great. I mean, I, there's nothing else I can say. The emperor on the emperor. So, you are guided divinely, whichever way you turn. You can't, you can't choose wrong. You can't turn wrong. Everything is lining up perfectly. Four of Cups, it is the offer being had. Okay, now that there's the, the, the Knight of Cups, it's riding in quickly, so it means it's coming in fast. There it is, and it's telling you, just hang in there. Don't give up yet. It's on the way. Okay? Well, Virgo, Super califragilistic reading here. Many blessings to you all. Don't forget we have the weeklies, the daily aff affirmations, which are just, it's a quick 10 minute video, just trying to build your focus for the day so you can start at least where you know where you're starting clear with your energy because, you know, sometimes we're going five minutes at a time. Life is hard. Um, so this is, this is how we do it. We focus positively and uh, keep moving forward. And if you want to join my daily mystic um, meditations and beautiful Vibe Tribe reading that we do, it's $4.99 a month. This button is down below. And uh, you get 20 readings with meditations every day of the week. And I do it. The weekend is combined. So it's 20 readings for 5 bucks. So if you want to join, please do so. If, uh, I'll, if not, I'll see you during the monthlies and the weeklies and the daily affirmations. Many blessings to you all. Thank you for being part of my wonderful journey. Love and light, happiness, abundance, and prosperity to everyone. Namaste.